Ryan Lagod. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagod. And Craig Tovey. Remember, if you like what you see, follow us on Instagram. Or visit our website. RyanandCraig.com. You can watch all of our read-alouts. Or send us a message. I have a message. Craig. Today's book was sent to us by Miss Parrish's second grade class at Monteo Elementary School. Thanks for sending us today's book. We're going to read it. Because today's book is... <gasps> Interrupting, Interrupting Chicken. Chicken by David Ezra Stein. Let's get stuck. Uh, okay, go again. Let's get no. stuck. Let's get started. Okay. Jeez. Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? Asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa. I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, 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 they began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children? Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped the little red chicken and she said, Don't go in! She's a witch! So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. No. no! You don't interrupt a famous fable like Hansel and Gretel. That is a 100% negative. But... I mean, she's right about the moral of the story and it got us right to the end. Yeah, and that's a really scary story. I'm always scared of that witch, so I'm glad I didn't have to meet her. Me too, yeah. Yeah. But, but no. Don't interrupt. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but you really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. Don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't talk to strangers! So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. No! no. You don't interrupt a classic tale like Little Red Riding Hood. You can't keep interrupting the story. Stop. But, but I mean, she's right. You should not talk to strangers. That's a very good advice. You learned a lot. That's a strong, strong point, which is kind of the whole point of the story. The anyway. story kind of goes all over the place, takes and forever. trying to sure. eat them, not eat them. Little Red Chicken. Cut Boom. To, yeah. Right? To don't talk to strangers. No. no. Don't interrupt. No interrupting. No. No. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted two stories, and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story, and I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm the sky was falling when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't panic! It was just an acorn! So Chicken Little didn't. The end. No! You do not interrupt the story of Chicken Little, okay? You can't keep interrupting these classic tales. But... I had no idea. I've never actually read that story. I have never read Chicken Little either. And she panicked about a whole acorn. Yeah, don't panic. You know, yeah. in and out, we're done. I like that. Yeah, it's good. It's good advice. Don't interrupt. Don't stop it. Come on. Don't stop. Don't panic, panic either. Don't panic. Don't, panic. don't panic. Don't interrupt. Two morals. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. Oh, Papa. I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But, Chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, no, Papa. I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story? Said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa. Here we go. Um... Bedtime for Papa. 
my chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put a papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him more milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all the 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 No No You do not fall asleep when your child is telling you a story. You do not fall asleep during bedtime stories. But, I mean, that's the kind of the point of them. It's a really good bedtime story if they put you to sleep. So it's working, you know. It's good, but, but no. No, don't fall asleep. <sighs> but good storytelling for making him fall asleep. Yeah, great, chicken. good job. Good job, chicken. Papa, no, can Papa. you hear me? Papa? Oh, the. Good night, Papa. The end. Well, the moral of that story was def- No, no, we don't really give the moral of the story at the end, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Practice our Z scales? Ooh. Z, 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 Z. 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 Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein.